Well, Bennett Kessler filed this following report. It will cost a million more dollars now than it would have 19 months ago. But even so, the Union County Board of Supervisors think it is now or never for a consolidated county office building in Bishop. Now, this is different than the courthouse project we were talking about earlier this week. And Bennett Keller Kessler continues that after hearing new details, the Inyo County Board voted unanimously to OK non-binding documents on the county office building project. Deputy Public Works Director Jim Tatum told the board that the current plan involves a nearly 42,000 square foot building with parking for 286 vehicles. The location is land to the south of Eastern Sierra Motors. And that land is owned by Joseph Enterprises of Bishop. Jim Tatum said the current plan includes conference room areas available to all departments, modifications to the clinic areas to be more user friendly, and more details that make it a modern building, including reception and coffee areas. Alan Cohen, a real estate economist, explained the money part to the board. He said interest rates and construction costs have gone up. The original $600,000 per year payments on the lease purchase deal have gone up to around $690,000. Cohen said originally county owned land was included as part of the deal, but developers said their costs have gone up and they prefer not to take the land as part of the payment. So now the county can sell or lease that land. Now right now, Inyo County pays $357,000 in rents for seven Bishop office locations. Now this does not include utilities, which Tatum said could be as could be reduced as by as much as 30% in the new building. Now, considering all costs and depending on savings, Tatum said the county could break even after close to seven years. The lease purchase arrangement would mean payments of around $690,000 per year for 20 years. Then the county would own the building. Stephen Joseph of Joseph Enterprises told the board he and others wanted to build, quote, something lasting that we could be proud of, end quote. He said, I know it's a difficult decision, but it sounds like you're making the right decision. Now, the board voted unanimously to approve the non-binding concept plans and term sheet. They authorized the staff to work on a final deal. And you can see more on this story on our website, sierrawave.net. Well, a great ongoing fundraiser taking place at the Mammoth Vons along with Mammoth Hospital. Rob Gill filed this video report. Mammoth Hospital is here tonight at Vons bagging for breast cancer to raise awareness for breast cancer as I believe it's one in eight women are affected. One in eight by women, probably since we started the program, there have been somewhere between 35 and 40 local women who have been diagnosed. Half of those women are still being actively treated right now. Mm-hmm. All right, come on down. Bring me some more groceries. Well, it has helped not all those women, but women who had a financial need mm -hmm. or to be able to afford mammography or to be able to afford a breast biopsy if we feel it is necessary. Mm -hmm. So we started this program about a year ago, so it's helped women in the past year. Yeah, in the, in the past year. We arranged with Vons, with their generosity, to collect monies that are donated towards breast cancer to stay local. So we started, Lori and I and others at the Hospital Healthcare Trust, started a program which is called Keep It Local, where the monies are used to help women with either mammography or treatment for breast cancer, uh, some biopsies and so on, if they are uh, economically unable to uh, pursue it in a timely manner. Mm -hmm. Most of it's community awareness, but it does, the thousands of dollars we raise makes a difference. Uh, women who may not get the biopsy that's recommended even though we think they may have cancer because they, they don't feel they can afford it. And I think that's really important. We do it usually just once uh, a month that we do the, uh, the bagging. Uh, although all our patients at Mammoth Hospital were given, who underwent mammography, were given notices that we're raising money locally. We've advertised on radio mm -hmm. and in the paper. Mm -hmm. So it's an ongoing monthly, you know, for this month, breast cancer awareness. Mm -hmm. It's a whole month long program, but executives, physicians, and other personnel from the hospital are here bagging, you know, meeting patients, meeting uh, members of the community and just making them aware of this disease. Mm -hmm. So the fundraiser has gone on for the whole month of October in honor of National Breast Cancer Awareness Month. 
Well, we are, uh, each of our patients who has a mammogram this month uh, gets a gift. Uh, we also hand out this month uh, educational and informational packets for patients. Uh, but, you know, this month is no different than any other month. I've already uh, biopsied three or four women this month, uh, probably read over 100 mammograms, which is a good amount for this size community, and basically try to promote awareness every day. Mm -hmm. Uh, if any women have questions, they're welcome to call me. You know, we have an open door policy. Uh, we uh, will work with you if you feel that you have an uh, abnormality in your breast and you're worried about breast cancer. I'm in the hospital and the healthcare trust uh, and all the wonderful employees at the hospital. We'll, we'll work with you to get it done to either, you know, make the correct diagnosis or to soothe any uh, apprehension you might have. Mm -hmm. So, ladies. 40 and over, make sure you get your annual mammogram. Annual mammogram, we have state-of-the-art equipment. We're very fortunate enough that seven years ago, this community came together and bought us digital mammography, which is so unique. This is a really generous, plugged-in community, and, and you know we're just here to make the dream work. Well, we thank Rob Gill for that story. And Bennett Kessler filed this report. The three-person arbitration panel assembled to rule on the damage done to the Black Rock well field in Inyo County essentially said the Los Angeles Department of Water and Power had failed in its responsibilities under the water agreement, carried out policies that could endlessly delay environmental protection, and tried to deny the groundwater baseline agreement agreed to in the agreement. Now, the picture painted by the panel reveals a DWP at work to delay dealing with realities in the Owens Valley and instead to blame Inyo for violating the agreement. As Sierra Wave Media had reported, that panel rejected some of the LADWP claims against Inyo County regarding the Black Rock vegetation loss. The panel said Inyo County had taken the right steps to dispute DWP's denial of damage, and the panel determined measurable damage had, in fact, been done at Black Rock. Now they will determine what caused the damage and how bad it is. Now the full text of the panel's recent decisions revealed that, revealed that DWP fundamentally failed to accept its responsibilities under the water agreement. DWP claimed that neither Inyo nor LA has the legal right to independently monitor, gather, and analyze data on the groundwater and plants. DWP said only the technical group could do this. The panel said that if that happened, it would thwart the purpose of the long-term water agreement and the intent of the agreement as a mitigation measure and would deny each party's right to gather its own data. Now, the panel said that LA's version of the water agreement would allow either side to derail examination of the environment. Asked for an explanation, Inyo County Water Director Bob Harrington said, quote, if Inyo came to the technical group with a problem, LA could say they don't want to study it and the issue would end, end quote. That's basically what happened with BlackRock. Now, the panel sent the BlackRock issue back to the technical group and ordered L.A. to prepare a written report with evidence on its position by December 18th. Inyo County will respond by February 14th in the new year. The panel ordered that both parties must cooperate fully in the process. And again, you can see more on this story on our website, sierrawave.net. We'll be back with more news.